guys welcome back to another episode today i'm doing a comparison with the uh, basis 30 watt charger these are the two that i have right here they're both black one of them is a three port charger and the other one is a uh, two port both of them are quick charge um, so if you have an iphone 13 pro like i do actually pro max like i do uh, it requires a lot of power in it you know kind of like an ipad it just requires a lot of power to charge it up and so these charger are gonna charge this thing up really fast both of them will actually do uh this one up to uh, it'll go 60 percent in like 30 minutes that's how fast these things do and then at the same time i'm gonna throw in the uh apple 20 watt charger as well to compare all right so that's them right here this one right here is the um it's the two port charger is is super compact so that's it right there and then this is the three port charger which basically has one more USB A port all right so so with these as you can see they're about the same size except for this one right here this this two port one which has the USB C and then the USB A it uh it's a foldable so I think that's a that's a plus right there. This 30 watt one right here, this will charge um, 18 watt on the USB-C and then 12 watts on the USB-A. This one, the Apple charger will do about 20 watts um, straight, just one USB-C. So it has the advantage there in terms of it only, it has all this room to charge just one device. By the way, I need to mention that um, it will charge it simultaneously, 18 watt, 12 watt on this one so with this 30 watt right here if you do decide to use all three ports right here it will charge them all simultaneously uh, and it, it has this thing in there where it will distribute the power correctly for you so let's test out the weight of the uh, apple charger that's 2.05 ounce this is the basis two port charger 30 watt 2.22 ounce so this one is second and then this bigger one 2.29 um, so what I'm seeing here is that the two bases is actually almost the same weight and I can definitely feel it in this one this this one is, is a little bit tighter packed in there you can feel that it's there's a bunch of technology packed into this one slightly bigger than the 20 watts Apple charger, but it has extra ports for you, some USB-A ports. Um, so I don't know if that's important to you or not. It's slightly bigger right here. Yeah, just slightly bigger. And you gain two USB-A ports. And so this one right here, uh, it's actually smaller than all of them. Look at this, smaller than all of them. And as you can see, the prongs, there's no prongs right here. So it's nice and foldable if you throw in your bag. And again, these two will charge it. Uh, we charge your phone and your iPad and stuff simultaneously at full charge. So yeah, at the end of the day, it just depends on what your needs are in terms of port. This one has one port. This one has uh, two port and this one has three. And uh, I would say, I don't know. I, for me, I probably go in between and get two ports with some collapsible so that I can throw it in my bags. I just like to travel light. So probably that one will come out winning for me. Um, some of these other one, I may use it if I travel with my family because then I need more ports. I don't know about the Apple ones. Um, even though it, char it does the 20 watt versus this one charge, uh, the phone at 18 watts I, i'm not sure how big of a difference that is so i will have to kind of think about that so yeah so that's it for me guys those are the comparison hope you guys like that have a good one <laughs>